When it comes to the red carpet, celebrities need to look their best from head to toe. But the visionary behind their trend-setting looks, the one who finds the clothes, assembles the look, and creates a red carpet diva is the stylist, AKA Glam God. The right look can land a celebrity on best dress lists around the world, but the wrong look can be disastrous. Stylists are not ordinary people. They share a unique vision that blends detail, color, and composition to turn a celebrity into a work of art. In a competition inspired by the pages of Us Weekly, 12 talented stylists have come to Los Angeles to find out if they have what it takes to style the stars. I'm a pioneer, I'm a trendsetter, not a trend follower. Get to styling this way. They'll compete in a series of hot trend challenges designed to test their personal style. I love fashion because it is fun. That's what fashion is. And their ability to create a winning look from top to bottom. I could dress anyone. It's beautiful. It looks like a piece of art. I'm Vivica A. Fox, and I know a thing or two about the red carpet. Gosh, you know Vivica is a slave for fashion. Welcome to Hollywood, babies. Only one of you can win the coveted Glam God title, an opportunity to be represented by a major styling agency. You will style a celebrity for Us Weekly. And on top of all of that, a $100,000 grand prize! Y'all gonna get paid! $100,000 is a big number. <laughs> I will be joined by Melanie Bromley, West Coast Bureau Chief of Us Weekly. You're going to have to work really hard to impress me. And celebrity stylist Philip Block. This is about fashion and making your clients look good. In deciding who's hot, you are such a styling force to be reckoned with. And who's not. You have dressed a hooker. They all have a passion for fashion. No! What is this? Calm down. You put out the sunglasses, you put out the earrings, you put out everything, dog. You deserve to go home. But who has what it takes to be the next great celebrity stylist? It's so stressful because you know if you fail, you're out. Who has what it takes to be a glam god? My name's Preston Conrad, and I'm from New York. I would describe my personal style as preppy and classic pieces, but with a young, fun twist to it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. The house is really sweet. It's a loft. It feels downtown, and you walk in and you immediately see this blue fly closet filled with every designer jean and dress and accessory that you can imagine. It's kind of insane. <laughs> This is insane. Oh my god! Is this not mental? Hi. Preston. Preston Hi. And Jeff. Nice to meet you. The type of stylist I am is I bring a lot of enthusiasm to the table. I like to do very classic American looks, but I really like to work with accessories in order to make an outfit pop. This is ill. Yo, yo! What's good? Hey, what? What's up, gorgeous Indashio? Hey, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Indashio, 23, from New York City. Oh yeah, red carpet, baby. Red carpet ready. I want to be noticed. I want to stand out amongst everybody. Fashion is a form of self-expression. You know, it's like an art. I love it. Yo, yo! What up, man? You know what I'm already yeah. eating in the kitchen? Chris, nice, nice to meet you, man. Christopher Manor. I became a stylist by fate. My parents met in beauty school. I grew up in a beauty salon. I'm really inspired by things that are classic. Your old school, glamorous women. Just old school, timeless beauty. Yo, God is so good. This is crazy. It don't get better than this. But there's someone here, you guys. Oh. What's up, baby? Dashio. Tiger Lily. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I love that. I'm Tiger Lily Hill. I love bold colors. I love sexiness. I want to make my client all of those. So, you know, I have little tricks up my sleeve that I plan to bring to the competition. So nobody gets their own room. Oh my there's God, this no is so pool. crazy. It seems like Miss Tiger Lily is very, what we call in Hawaii, Hi maka maka. That means my does not stink at all. What's your name? So, 
Hello. 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 What's up, baby? It's Dashi. Nice to meet you. And Dashi, I'm Coxie. 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 Whoa. <laughs> well, I'm Dashi. I'm a stylist. I'm a makeup artist. I do a little bit of hair. So you do and it all. I do it all. I try to be triple threat. I'm Coxie. I have a line of home and beauty products that I'm trying to establish. I want to be a younger, edgier Martha Stewart. Hello. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Hi, Hi, Lily. Hi. I'm. Kind of over the top. I like that when you go out, people have to say, wow. So for me, if I don't have fashion in my life, I will die. Coxie. Coxie. What's your name again? Joaquin. Think of Joaquin. Just Joaquin, you know? Joaquin. Yeah. Like Joaquin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. Style is something very personal. It's a lifestyle. Don't let the clothes wear you. Wear the clothes. Hello. What? Have some champagne. What? We haven't started I would yet. Love I'm to. Aaron. How are you? Good nice to meet you, Bo. How are you? Nice to meet you, Bo. I think being innovative is being creative and being someone that takes chances. And my thing is that I'll mess up and love it. You know, so I just go with my flaws. We gotta know. We gotta know. Okay. We gotta know. <laughs> Picture perfect first impressions. Vivica soon to make her grand entry. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, Vivica A. Fox. I was about to get to meet a celebrity, and a celebrity in fashion. Who gets this opportunity as a stylist? I mean, it's literally overwhelming, and I just cannot wait. Hola, hola, my darling stylist. I'm Vivica A. Fox. Vivica is amazing. She has so much style and she has a presence, you know? And when she walks into a room, everybody knows. Stylist, I am so excited to begin this amazing and fantastic journey with you. Welcome to Hollywood, babies. Uh, all right, so I want y'all to look around at each other. Look around. Because at the end of this competition, only one of you can win the coveted Glam God title an opportunity to be represented by a major styling agency, and on top of all of that, a $100,000 grand prize! Y'all gonna get paid! Go get paid! Go get paid, okay? $100,000 is a big number, <laughs> so I really, really need to win. To help me pick the Glam God winner, I've gotta introduce you to my Glam panel. First up, Mel Bromley. Come on in, Mel. Hi. <laughs> Mel is the expert on everything celebrity, okay? She has the final say on who's hot and who's not. <laughs> Hello, stylist. I can't wait to see you all in action, but I have to warn you, my job is to critique the world's biggest celebrities and their sense of style. So if you're going to impress me, you're going to have to work extremely hard. Working for Us Magazine, she knows what she's talking about. She knows the trends, she's flying, she's, I mean, she's amazing. Now next up, he is who all of you are aspiring to be. Say hello to my man, Philip Block. <laughs> Philip Locke is an inspiration. Philip Locke is a master of ceremonies. Philip Locke is probably the most well-known stylist. Philip has styled mega stars from Jennifer Lopez to Halle Berry and Nicole Kidman. He has that expert eye that can style anyone from leading men to red carpet divas. No. You know, I've worked with her a few times. I will pose. I will pose, OK? Now, each week, you will all compete in hot trend challenges. You will produce a star look that the glam panel will then critique. Each week, we will say goodbye to one of you who is not worthy enough to be called a glam god. With that said, two of you will be going home tonight. When Vivica says two people are going home tonight, my heart drops completely down to my knees, my toes. I, it's very stressful. Coming up, 
Today's challenge will be a team challenge. If you want to win this, you pick me. It's complete fat kid in gym class waiting to be picked. You have everybody? No, I don't have anybody. And later... I just chose two. You have her and him. Dashio committed himself to two teams. Since you were so back and forth, I don't want to work with that. This is war. Today's hot trend challenge will be a team challenge. You'll be working in four teams of three. Now, four lead stylists have been chosen randomly, and they are Tiger Lily, Chris, Joaquin, and fourth, Jess. So we're gonna give you guys about an hour. I need for you to choose two other stylists to join your team, and then we will meet you when we return in the workroom, okay? Enjoy yourself. Thank you. So after the lead stylists now have been chosen, we have to go out and choose teams to work with. If you're looking for somebody, I would love to take your direction yeah. and, you know, <laughs> modify or give my input and yeah. help out any way I can. Yeah. I enjoy helping people develop their confidence. If you have one thing, <laughs> confidence, you know, should be it. I'm very bold, so I need somebody to tone me down, to compliment me, you know what I mean? I, yeah. Thanks, well, it, sweetie. Oh, It'll be welcome. okay. It'll be fine. It's gonna be great. I'm very unclear with um, the crop that was chosen. It's hard to imagine that they do this for a living because they just look so sloppy. So sloppy. Do you have everybody? No, I don't have anybody. I'm a really good stylist. I swear to you, super I chic, it. super I classic. I haven't felt this way since I was in like seventh grade because it's complete fat kid in dodgeball in seventh grade gym class just waiting to be picked for the teams. What do you say your style is more like street style? Is no, it like I mean it's diverse. Like you'll see me tomorrow and uh, I'll be wearing something completely different. Coxie's already down. This is the thing and I'm going to be flat out honest with you from the beginning. I'm kind of a control freak. If you want to win this, you pick me. But if not, like, I understand. If you're able to keep it under control for one second... Wow. He's under control. <laughs> and that shows completely over the top. If you can't control that kid, he's gonna make a fool of me, a fool of my team, and I don't need that. I don't care who you are. Bo's who else are you thinking? Bo. Okay. Bo's on the team already. Okay. One for the money, two for the show, three for the paper, now let's go. What's up? I don't know what that means, but let's win. <laughs> One, two, right, let's, let's win. win. So I'm on Jess's team, right? But my goal was to get on everybody's team and then pick and choose who I really think would be the best. I'm gonna choose you. No, we can't choose each other. We can choose each other. Mm -hmm. I'm not a leader. Are you not? No, but I think that okay, me and yeah, you can I do see. some magic. Yeah, I like so that flash. let's do it. I like that Let's flash. do it. Okay, so I'm on her team. Mission accomplished. They already put me on the team. Whose team has two people? You guys. Our buddy Aaron has to be on a team. <laughs> Who has only one team member? Jess, I think he's on your team. What? Who's on your team? Bo and Dash. No, he's on this team. I don't know. I didn't know he. I didn't. So you have you have her and him. I thought I could just choose, and I just chose two. You are. A Aaron, you're with me. Oh my God. I'm oh, you're just gonna do me like that? And Dashio committed himself to two teams. So it kind of got a little ugly for a second. We, he was on my team, but now he's on Tiger Lily. Now you're just gonna drop me like that for him? I, you know what, I oh. did want you, but since you were so quick to be so back and forth on this thing, I don't want to work with that. I'm not working with that. I'm working with loyalty and I'm working with teamwork. Okay. You want to oh, play me, I'll work. play you right back. I'm on Tiger back, Lily's team. So now I know how the... Big mistake, shorty. Big mistake. Coming up. Your task is to style a winning look that will be photographed on the red carpet. You have two hours in which to pull the clothes and accessories that you need. Let's go. Come over there. Ooh. And later. We need color. This isn't the week for color. Chris didn't like what I said to him. Really big earrings. I think a small earring would be better. I want this. I'm going to do this. It is really frustrating. You know what, I did want you, but since you were so quick to be so back and forth on this thing, I don't want to work with that. I'm not working with that. I'm working with loyalty and I'm working with teamwork. Okay. You want to play oh, me? I'll war. play you right I'm back. I'm on Tiger Lily's team. I chose Nadasio, but he skipped town and went to another team. So my final team is Aaron and Bo. Shake it off. Uh, yeah, it's okay. cool. It's cool. Right. Dash on first, babe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's a captain. Tiger Lily is gonna be a great team captain. Janelle is also on my team, which I'm feeling pretty confident too. She's going down. Chinatown. So have you 
Have you all chosen your team? Yes, we have. Yes. yes. I picked Matt and Preston to be on my team because I truly believe that they were going to be an extra asset to what I already know. I picked Coxie and Andrew out as teammates. I think we may work well together. For the first Hot Trend Challenge, we dare to ask the question, celebrities fear the most, who wore it best? You've all seen it in the glossy pages of celebrity magazines like Us Weekly, but the true question is who styled it best? And tonight, we're going to be doing it for real. We've got some examples for you. We've got Eva Mendes and Jessica Alba wearing the same dress. Eva Mendes? Hot! Jessica Alba, not so much. Many times at an event, someone shows up in one dress and someone else shows up in the exact same dress. So Philip is having us kind of understand why this is such a severe crime in the industry to not make the dress work really well because someone else could make it work better. So, in this styling scenario, a top designer has promised you a dress from his brand new collection. The catch is, he has also promised the same dress to other stylists and their clients. They're all going to the same event, on the same night, wearing the same dress. Your task is to style a winning look that will be photographed on the red carpet going to the event. And you want your client to look amazing. Remember, you need to be able to take the style of the celebrity to the whole other level. You'll be using the Blue Fly Closet for your hot trend challenges. And inside that closet, you'll find every piece to perfect your look. As with each hot trend challenge, Charles Worthington London hair professionals and Stila cosmetic experts are gonna be on hand to help you. Philip tells us that there will be makeup and hair for our disposal, and that is super exciting because we get to collaborate with a team to really create a signature look. We've called on LA models to have our celebrity star stand-ins. Carrie will be with Chris's team. Jessica with Jess. Courtney with Joaquin. And Jasmine, you'll be with Tiger Lily. Okay guys, you have two hours in which to brainstorm, pull the clothes and accessories that you need, and style your star stand-in. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Hi, honey. Mm, Does anybody by any chance so? Let's talk to her first. Hold okay. on a second. Sorry. The challenge is who wore it best, and you need to be bold. If everybody has a uniform dress, I plan on styling something very different. We want to win. Right. Really what? I think sexy. sleek. We're going for a certain look. It's 20s. We're thinking, you know, Coco Chanel, something classic but young, you know? So I pulled some pearls, long necklace. I just want to put something over it. I'm opening oh, the other day. this is amazing. Yeah. This is a great idea. Okay. Tiger Lily has this bright idea of adding a skirt on top of the dress to give it some more layered effect. Your waist needs work. Let's go. But this and this is this cool okay, together. So let's put this Not together. with this puck, you know. Let's get this. A little and we can, we can have, yeah, I want body I here body. and tight yeah, here, right? It's very tight. It yeah. like I kind of want to create the look that was fresh, soft curl, like very natural. I was kind of given the idea of like a central peg kiss. You just came back from a nice, you know, vacation. What are you thinking about, is there anything you want to do to the dress to change it, alter it, tweak it? A lot of times less is more, that's my motto. I think that it's really important to not overdo it when you're styling. The mark of a good stylist is knowing that less is more. So I think that we're gonna keep it pretty simple. What we can do with the top part of the dress to make it more sexy. I saw the black dress and I said, okay, it's too way simple. We need to make alterations, like we need to work on it if we want to really stand out from everybody else. I think this isn't the look to, to do too much with. We don't, this is the first challenge. Right. This is what we've got. This. But we need color. That's, that's, I don't think there's anything wrong with the little black dress. I mean, just not this challenge. This isn't the week for color. Chris didn't like what I said to him, but we're not colors to make it like pop. Okay, it's I'll working. Put, I'll so put working. all the brakes on this. Okay, let's try it. Let's do it. What the hell is all of this? <laughs> My beautiful teammates. Like really big earrings. I don't know, big earrings. Put them on, try them on her. No, that's too much no. for me. Yeah. yeah, I think a small earring would be better. Just simpler. Like Every time I, I was suggesting something. Chris was like, no, I want this, and I'm gonna do this. It is really frustrating. Trust me, guys, I promise you I would not steer you in the wrong direction. No, I, 
I'm with you. I totally trust you. I but I feel like with my degree in psychology, it's my job to talk you through this. And and I love make that. Sure That's why I wanted you. That here. you feel like you completely right. have all of your bases covered. No, that all the questions you've been asked. Yeah. All. I have a degree in psychology and social behavior, and I feel like I could use some of my groundedness to keep them grounded, to keep them focused, and I felt that was something I could support with. Okay, what do you think of this? We cut off the bottom, use it as a shirt, belt it, put on some skinny jeans and some boots, and work it like that. We're allowed to use? We're allowed to do whatever we want with it. So we really wanted to create some type of like Kate Moss, London Beat, punk rock inspired outfit. What if we funk it in or something because we... Right I just there. want to be perfectly clear with you. Pay you attention. gotta keep it the f simple. With the belting, I wonder if it's still... It's is too much. It's very simple. Jess's style is very different than mine. I mean, I brought options, but it wasn't in line with her, her vision. So what do you think about this? I think it doesn't go together. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Do you want to tell him to go back there and just pull her hair in a straight pony back? What about, you're doing this Or the this bob rocker? that you're saying? What about the sort of, you're up teased? No, just I need teased up. a severe outfit. I'm telling you, think simple. I just would like to have the opportunity to actually show what I can do. Right. Yeah, oh, that's right. cute. That's what we want. Let's go to hair. Normally for a red carpet event, it takes two hours just for the hair. Not let alone the makeup, the styling, the accessories, the wardrobe, the pinning, the alterations. So this was our race against time. This is what we do, strong lips. Okay. Strong lips. Black. Bare eyes. Red even. Exactly. She's gorgeous, so yeah. Okay, Thank you. This is gonna just flip up. Yeah, I don't, the thing is I'm not quite exactly how sure we're gonna do it. If, if you put this in, it'll naturally go up. It might be a little spaceship. I'm afraid they're gonna make jokes about it. I, I like it. it. Great. Okay. Good. We should. Our model has to look uh, like a 22-year-old. I had a little idea to pop the collar and throw the collar up, which I think you know the judges will like. Yeah, Perfect. Amazing. Awesome. Here we go. <laughs> Holy oh, macaroni. Good, God. good night. <laughs> this is either gonna be really good or really, really bad. bad. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so stressed out. When Jess cut the dress. I was concerned. I need this. Oh, it's a Vera Wang dress we just cut up. That's fantastic. I would have never in a million years had the balls to cut this dress. I just wouldn't have thought of it. Coming up. We don't want to have any time to question what we just Ever. cut up. I'm all about standing out, but don't be tacky. Didn't they all give you a dress? <laughs> We've done this with our dress. <laughs> and later. As you all know, two of you will be eliminated tonight. How come that took two hours? There's nothing to criticize. Confidence is good, cocky, isn't it? I think it's bland. Talk to them. Uh, uh, oh, uh, excuse me? Oh, Sorry. Oh, oh, I just wanna... did it. Excuse me? <laughs> Slow your roll, baby girl. This is either gonna be really good or really, really bad. bad. <laughs> the dress was probably in the three to seven hundred dollar range, and with a 90 cent pair of scissors, I went to town. We got we got to say this on her first. Should of all. we fray it like? This is a little black dress that you're making into a shirt. I'm all about standing out. Don't get me wrong, but don't be tacky, tacky, tacky. I hate tacky. Tackiness is a crime. Um, Let me see what's going on over at this table. Aha! Uh -huh. We've oh just decided to go. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my. <laughs> Philip is the epitome of what we're trying to achieve. So this is intimidating to me. Didn't they all give you a dress? Yep. <laughs> we've done we've done this with our dress, and we're gonna put it on a skinny jean. We've belted it. Very punk rock glam Kate Moss look. Ah, um, uh, Kate Moss is the inspiration. Yeah. Okay. I am bugging out because we are very aware that ours is so different and might be in trouble. Thank and you very much. And who would much. be the team captain? That's me. There you go. <laughs> team awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's in charge of what here? Well, I, I'm the team leader. And they're definitely giving me input. And so we're we're running things back and forth around each other. I think right. we've had really good communication. Yeah. I think because I'm a little bit older than my teammates, um, I've been doing like the psychology thing. Yes, psychology, yes. huh? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I was asking a lot of the important questions so that we dotted our I's and we crossed our T's and so that Chris, as the team leader, has no regrets. Joaquin, how's everything going over here? How are you? Joaquin, what would you kind of sum up the look as? Um, uh, Central page, just sun, sun kiss, very natural, like just blown uh, wind hair. Kind of like you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you've got 20 minutes. Because it looks like we're wrapping up and we need to dress her before we take her back for our last look. 
So we really wanted to incorporate what the model was comfortable with in her hair and her makeup. She liked a nice spring face. She liked, you know, peaches, purple, sparklies. But the time is running out and I don't know how it's really gonna end up looking in the end. Do you think that the necklace isn't it too casual? I think it's kind of that. I think it's it reminds Tiffany. me of classic Tiffany's. It's Tiffany's a, little oh, black dress. Pretty. It's also pretty. Okay. Chris, I think he, he took too much about like, leadership. So I said to myself, at this point, it's a waste of time. He's not going to take any of my advices. So just shut up and play the team part. Um, it just doesn't work. Hold this one. It's, it's not pinned tight enough. Okay, we'll That's beautiful. Baby. That is a wrap, folks. Oh, this is a nice T-Rex. Okay, I need everybody in their original spots. Okay, guys, we'll be seeing you at the red carpet elimination. And remember, two of you are going to be going home. Models, we'd love you to walk over to the step and repeat and start your photo shoot process. look and I totally stand by it. I see something that's young and fresh, but still very classic style. Just very fitted, very feminine, very flirty, but not over the top. Once I send the model to the red carpet, I feel confident because she looked amazing and the dress fit her really well. I know we got this in the bag. First of all, we had the prettiest model. We had the best classic look and um, she just looked amazing. Who wore it best? Who wore what best? I have no competition. They're all wearing dresses and I'm in a girl. I have a girl in a shirt. I, I feel like frustrated. It's not me. You can't hear. If you get more stressed out, then it's not, it's it's not going to help. It's not going to help. Then I'm going to end up paying for something no, that I didn't do. You gotta he didn't take out of advice. He, he was doing whatever he wanted. Right now, I'm, I'm feeling like to say to Chris, dude, you don't, you don't have the style to be here. You are so simple that it's no ferocious at all. Go home, pack. We're just about to go to elimination and I'm feeling really confident. I know my team is gonna win. Yeah, I I'm, I'm really can't wait to send two people home and get them out of my house. We are very aware that everyone has these very chic little black dresses and there's ours. So I'm a little nervous about going into this. And really frustrated. It's a lot of things going through my head right now. It's like, I don't want to get eliminated. Hello, stylist. Hello. Hi. Welcome to your first red carpet elimination. Joining us is my glam panel, celebrity stylist Philip Block and Melanie Bromley, West Coast Bureau Chief of Us Weekly. As you all know, the hot trend challenge this week was who styled it best. Now, this challenge was all about the details. We wanted to test your ability to make smart styling choices in helping your clients stand out on the red carpet. Only one of your star stand-ins wore it best. Okay, let's get started. Joaquin, tell us about your vision and your presentation. As a team, we wanted her to feel like um, she did something herself. There was nothing over the top, just natural, subtle, very golden, light makeup, just natural. I'm very proud. Philip, what was the particular idea to move the ruffle? Who, who came up with that idea? Matt and um, I came yeah, up with that just idea. Just to kind of pop the collar, give it a little, you know, she was going out to, it was a nightclub open. And you see what I'm loving that ruffle doing that right at her chin. That's that's what it's that's what it's there for. Yeah. yeah that captures the drama. Good choice, okay. gentlemen. Well, thank you. Chris, tell us about your vision and what you were going for, please. Okay, the most important thing to me when styling is absolutely silhouette. So for our model, we wanted to take the dress, which is a bubble fit, which kind of isn't necessarily the most flattering thing, and give it that hourglass silhouette feel. So we did that by adding a belt to it. Mel? Chris, how come that took two hours? Well, the, the truth of the matter is, as a stylist, you know and I know that when you pull from a designer, they give you the dress that they want to see on the runway. I get why you didn't want to change it too much. I think your point is a valid point, but it is lacking a little in pizzazz. I personally would have liked a pop of maybe just a little bit more color. I'm sorry, Chris. I, I don't think it's very special. Chris is so stupid for not taking my advice. He should go home tonight. All right. Jess. Yes. Please tell us about your vision. 
So we decided to go in a completely different way. We saw that everybody was doing the dress and we really want her to stand out. So she needs to be rocked out. This is a glam rock look. What are you gonna tell the designer on Monday morning when he sees that picture of his dress? That his dress is now a blouse. I have to say, it's a Vera Wang dress and I did not even <laughs> stop to think for a second. <laughs> I'm just now worried because I'm now the girl who cut the Vera Wang dress on the first day. Well, I appreciate you guys having courage to take a chance, Thank you, you know, to change dream. the whole outfit. All right, now I want to take a look at the hair and the makeup. We wanted to incorporate a spring color into her face palette, so she does have on a uh, very shimmery light blue eyeshadow with a very soft smoky eye Black. and a pale mm -hmm. pink shimmery cheek. Mel? I mean, I think where, where you've won with the style, you've lost in the face. Like, I, I don't, like, it's not as kind of interesting to me to see her face and her hair. It's kind of, I can take it or leave it, you know? Yeah. I think is what you wanted to say. <laughs> I feel like Jess did the best that she possibly could do. It's not the best that I could possibly do, but I wasn't the leader. Tiger Lily, let's take a look at your red carpet style. The look we went for was a really classic look. We added a little bubble to the skirt. We felt like it needed some flounce. This is a beautiful interpretation, and um, it looks fantastic. Philip, What you did, beautiful. The little flounce, fabulous. The red clutch, all that really, really great. We wanted to pay special you know, attention to details. We painted the nails. You know, we used the time wisely. Do you think you, you achieved what you were going for? I feel like there's nothing to criticize, to be honest. Jeez. All right, yeah, let's not get carried away. Yeah. Confidence is good, cocky is another. All right, stylists, I want to thank you for presenting your red carpet looks for this evening. We're going to talk amongst ourselves, so you are excused. We'll deliberate, and we'll bring it back, and we'll let you know who has the best style look of the week. If my team loses, I hate to say it because I don't want to go home, but I have to say it's my responsibility because I did direct them to take it to skinny jeans. Who do you guys think uh, did the best job? I liked Joaquin. Yeah, I, I yeah, did. I um, as well. So it was clever because they did one thing. Like, all they did was lift up the collar, and that changed the whole dress and the whole look. I think, we're, I think we're good. I think we're I'm fine. fine. I think we're fine. Yeah. So I'm not going to worry. You had Tiger Lily's team that did an enormous amount of work. I agree. 100%. Yeah, it was very classy, very pretty. I mean, their attention to detail with the nail varnish, with everything. I mean, you yes. could tell that they'd taken notice of everything. What I you? concur 100%. I think she's got an amazing aesthetic. The ruffle is a great way to tell if someone's got an eye or not because there just has to be the right amount. We, I really wanted us to win the first challenge. We are going to win this first challenge. Uh, I think we have some stiff competition. Now, let's talk about the loser of the night. Mm. For me, um, it was Chris's team because... I concur, darling. I concur. <laughs> I do. I was I, so disappointed with that look. I was like, it took you, what, 10 minutes to do? He talks about the neckline, the silhouette. Well, what did you do to the silhouette? Vera did the silhouette. Yeah. I don't think they like it. This is tough. This is very tough. If I was the one eliminated tonight, I would be completely and utterly disappointed. I feel like I've come so far and have so much more to give. I just don't think it's our time. No, I just think it's our time. Coming up. It didn't pop. Why didn't you listen? Talk to them. Excuse me? Oh my God. Slow your roll, baby girl. I believe you have talent. Today you fell a little bit short. Stylists, as you all know, only the best and worst of celebrity looks make it onto the glossy pages of celebrity magazines. So for this hot trend challenge, only one team will win our celebrity look of the week. Everyone else, you will be up for elimination this evening. The fact that you know that you could go home, and the fact that you know what's at stake and what you could get out of winning this competition, I'm freaking out right now. Freaking out. Well. Congratulations, Tiger Love. Your team styled it best. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole team is safe from elimination. Thank you. Thank you. With great success comes a great reward. Wow. And as the winning team, your reward is waiting for you upstairs. You're excused to go back up to the lobby. Go and get it. Yeah. 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 We were ecstatic. Yeah, we deserved it. And we got a prize, a prize waiting for us upstairs. Their portfolios. Oh, and they're red.
Yeah. <gasps> a great team leader. Yeah. All great. Of us. Look at teamwork. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Joaquin, you guys did a really good job. As a matter of fact, we felt like you guys came in second place for the evening. Uh, we appreciated that you popped the collar. So because you came in second, your whole team is safe from elimination. You may head upstairs. I was in shock. I really thought we were gonna be number one. We were number two, but yet we're still here. Your teams are still here because you are in the bottom two. One of your looks was boring. The other just didn't work. One stylist from each remaining team will be asked to leave. Philip? Chris. It just really was bland, just too bland. It didn't pop. It didn't say, young Hollywood, you needed a pink shoe. You needed something that was going to really stand out and grab our attention. Leave us wanting to know more about that star. Um, I know Chris was a team leader, but I said, I want color. Chris, why didn't you listen? Right, the color was an issue, definitely. I'll take I that. I tried but to bring in like a necklace with an emerald green stone in it, and it wasn't to his satisfaction, so we bypassed it. I think that Coxie and Hendry could have been more adamant about wanting different color accessories with a look. What was your contribution to this whole scenario? We were a collective, and we stuck together through this. We showed respect to our team leader. He had a vision. He has a very specific design style in mind. We gave him a chance to shine as a leader, and we respected his decisions. Coxie, I'm feeling like you're getting maybe just a little bit lost to not take initiative to tell the team leader. Talk to them. Oh, that, <laughs> I, I, I mean... Oh, uh, excuse me? Oh, Sorry. Oh, I just wanna... did. Excuse me? Oh, I was, I was just kidding. I was just saying, talk to the next group. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm running the ship. Slow your roll, baby girl. How important is it to you to become a stylist? It's my life, and in the photo, you can see it's not my style. None of my ideas were in the style. I understand. Chris, yes. how important is it to you to become a celebrity stylist? I was tailor-made to be a celebrity stylist. I am the glam guy. I feel like I'm the winner of this competition. Coxie, how important is it to you to become a stylist? To me, this has been a date with destiny, which is why I'm here. Andre, I believe your passion and your excuse to go to the loft. Thank you. Andre is in the house and I am ferocious. Take that, Chris. Christopher, I believe you have vision. I believe you have talent. Today you fell a little bit short. Coxie, you played the team psychologist, but you're not here to do that. You are here to be a stylist. Chris made bad choices, but at least he made them. You didn't make any. Your excuse to go to the loft, but Christopher, let me warn you, don't disappoint us again. Thank you. I'm so, so, so relieved when Vivica tells me I'm safe and she believes in my desire. Keep reaching for the stars, Coxie, because today you're not ready to style them. You're eliminated. Thank you. Thank you. It was a privilege to get to work with you and meet you. Thank you. I definitely don't think it was fair the way that the elimination played out this evening. I kept saying, Chris, let's look at it from this angle. How about let's look at it from that angle? He said to me, I'm gonna take the responsibility and the fall for this, I am the team leader. And that's not what he did. Okay, Jess, you got next. Tell us about your team. Tell us what you would have done differently. I'm all about going bold or going home, and we really took it there tonight with our wardrobe, even though we fell short on some things. Let's simplify this. Bo, who do you think was the weakest person in the group? Wow, I hate doing stuff like that, but Aaron. Jess? Aaron. One thing I've seen all night is that, Aaron, you just don't say anything. I think I got taken a little bit out of my element, to be completely honest. And so I almost felt like... So maybe that's saying something. And, and quite possibly. I don't feel that it is. I feel maybe that I... an assistant might be your no. position. Do you think that you're out of your league? No, absolutely not. I just have never given, been given the opportunity to actually show what I can do. Aaron, unfortunately, I disagree. Okay. We want you to keep reaching for the stars. Today, you're not ready to style them. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. It was a pleasure. 
I felt like I just got smacked in the face with a bat. They didn't feel that I was uh, talented enough or ready enough to uh, vie for the title of Glam God. I just want to let you know, we're going to be watching you guys. This competition will not get easier. The boutiques will get tougher, the competition will get tougher. I can't believe how much I learned in the first challenge. So I'm really thinking now what they're looking for, and I'm listening. All right, Jess and Bo, you live to style another day, <laughs> OK? Thank you very much. You know, everyone worked together, don't get me wrong, but it was me that did those key things that really set fashion on the edge. This season on Glam God. We want you to take an actress and give her that leading lady look. I wanted to bring out the inner slut in her. Beauty is pain. The hot trend challenge is to create a look for an entire band. We just do not know what to expect. We're going to let you go shopping. Shopping! People are going crazy. It's not necessary for you to be over here. It's tense and a little aggressive. Woo! Are you getting them all? Yeah. I didn't grab them. Shut up. Things are getting really heated. You're talking about it, make a beat. Do you need me to help you pack or no? I'd really appreciate if you just stay out of my way. No! We got so much drama in the house. Do not push me, please. I'm not pushing. No one went behind your back. Whatever, it's just irrelevant. Erase. Ah, hey, ah, stop, ah. It. stop it. I feel like I'm in prison and need to get out. Give me a shot! I have this alter ego. Her name is Jackie Blue. Oh. Joaquin is out of control, and it gets in the way of his work. It's not about what you want. It's about what we want. It's what they want. What is this? No. You don't listen. I'll take over. No. This is very frustrating. You put yourself in front of the client. That cannot happen. If I don't have fashion in my life, I will die. It's sometimes in my life that I only had $10 in my pocket, and I instead of eating, I go and buy fabric. How bad do you really want to become a glam god? More than anything. Do you think you still deserve to be here? It's so stressful because if you fail, you're out. You guys are gonna lose! Ten minutes left. Uh -oh. ah! Calm down. I was ripped to shreds. What's the wrong dress? I'm embarrassed. You have dressed a hooker? That's their signature style. I hate liars. There's no one lying here. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. This is gonna be the most intense challenge. It's just so much pressure. Congratulations. You are our glam god. What up? It's your boy Adachio. I'm Stacy Cox. Hey, it's Bo. For more outrageous glam moments, check out goglam.beach1.com. Uh-huh. Working right, on right. it. Right, right. Over the Come show, on, guys. Come on. Oh, <laughs> Throw your shoulders oh. back. <laughs> you have to do what they do at the models do at the end of the show, like when their hands are too heavy and they're just like, right, right, okay, right, 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 right. Walking around in circles. And they're just, oh my god, I can't walk. <laughs>